Wednesday is the first day of absentee voting in Iowa. I'm Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter Katrina Markle at the Mills County Courthouse in Glenwood. There's been a steady stream of neighbors coming into the courthouse to vote. Nebraskans started voting last week, which caused some confusion with Iowans who wanted to fill out their ballots. Mills County election assistant Katie Dodge says they're getting a lot of questions about the local races on the ballot this year. We have a, con a contested sport of supervisor race with five candidates on that race. So that's one that a lot of people are interested in. Presidential races tend to increase voter turnout but there's a lot of stuff on this ballot. Pam and Alan Bean were at the courthouse early Wednesday. It was the presidential race that got them out. I think that everyone in the United States should vote because it is their country as well as mine and my husband's or anybody else's, whether it's a Democrat or a Republican. Local election officials say false information about the safety of elections makes their jobs harder. Voting equipment, for example, is tested. So not a single piece of voting equipment can go out to a polls without it being certified through a public test. She wants voters to understand that elections are run by their neighbors, including the train volunteers. It doesn't matter whether it's a partisan election like this general election coming up or whether it's a city school election that we have in odd number of years. I need to have party balance at the polls. It means I have to have an equal number of Republicans and Democrats. Absentee ballots are counted at the courthouse on election day by an absentee board. Dodge recommends voters check with the auditor's office for more information on local races before voting. Iowa also has a voter ID law, so come prepared with your government-issued ID. At the Mills County Courthouse in Glenwood, I'm Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter Katrina Markle.